Alright, so you probably clicked on this video because you are in the same boat as me. You've fallen in love with somebody who doesn't love you back, and it feels like this endless chase that will never end. Now, I've already um, made a video about my breakup story, so if you guys want to check it out, uh, definitely do. But it's pretty much I'm on like month three of my breakup uh, with this was like a three-year relationship and so far my healing journey has been pretty interesting you know at first when we broke up of course I was going absolutely insane I was literally like felt like my world completely ended for two weeks after that breakup I was literally just down in the dumps just completely destroyed but then we went on no contact and that really helped a whole bunch at first uh we went on no contact for like a month and a half and then we communicated again but once we started to communicate again it really just crapped back on me it really just came back and nothing really seemed to change at least on my end it was funny because she seemed to moved on a lot faster than i did and she actually even dated a couple of other guys already not a couple of other guys but another guy already and it was pretty surprising because it's only been a month at the point that, you know, it happened. So me, I'm out here destroyed. I'm out here going to the gym twice a day, working out, working on my YouTube business, uploading nearly every day. And she's just, I don't know, she's already back into the dating scene, which was interesting. But yeah, we came back from no contact. I had to like brush that off because I had to act like I healed. Um, and then... We had to do no contact again because we just it did not seem right and it was really bad so we went again on it and then that's when things just kind of took a really bad turn because then we struggled to stay on no contact and that's when life really started to feel weird because i'm out here getting false hope and it's probably not, it's not even her fault but i'm out here like telling myself that this is gonna get better that i'm gonna get back with her and that, you know, she's giving me these hints and stuff, which she's probably not even doing, but it's just my brain playing these scenarios. Um, but yeah, every time we got off no contact, I started to do those scenarios in my head, just like playing these scenarios over and over. And it still happens. And she's out here telling me about her dating experiences and her dating journeys and funny stories. And I'm out here like, bro, I'm still not even close to over you. It's a weird feeling for sure because like I said, it feels like an endless chase. It feels like you're, you're, you're fighting this false hope that one day you're gonna get back together and you end up just embarrassing yourself in the process. But it's weird, it's almost like you don't care because that little glimpse of hope that you have is all that you hold on to throughout this whole process. Like she's telling me all these stupid stories about other guys and little does she know, I would literally like do anything to to be back with her so if you're watching this video and you're going through this definitely comment your journey down below because i want to see what you guys are doing to kind of get over this but the question here is why do i go back every time why do i continue to contact her and why don't i just just block her just go on no contact and i wish the answer to that was more simple but as of right now on month three the only reason i could think of that is the false hope just one day thinking we would get back together so i stick around i make sure i treat her amazing i make sure i do everything i'm accommodating to kind of show her the type of man that i am and you know obviously i am a good guy and she knows that but apparently you know i'm not enough for her so i guess the next goal for me would have to become a more maximized version of myself and and to kind of work on myself and work on my speech work on my physical health work on my mental health in order to be the ultimate man and then i can't take her back that's the funny part because i have to show myself love i have to show my own worth uh not only to her but to myself so that's something that i've been doing to cope lately just working on myself as much as possible just literally filling my schedule up it is 12 o'clock at night i'm recording so much videos so that i can be ahead on youtube and then i can go to work tomorrow make 100 phone calls um but yeah if, if you're going through this comment your journey down below it's definitely it's definitely the weirdest thing especially when it's a true heartbreak uh this relationship was like three years long and 
yeah, it's it's very interesting because it just kind of happened out of nowhere. But yeah, and seeing her move on so quick was also like the weirdest thing I've ever experienced because we were in heavy, passionate love. We were in very heavy love. So, so to kind of see her move on to another passionate relationship that fast, it was like very eye opening to me. It was definitely a lesson that I learned um, to not give my heart out like that at, at such a heavy pace. But yeah, she doesn't even know this. Um, she doesn't watch my YouTube videos, but yeah, she's a great person. Don't get me wrong. But my goal would to just be to work on myself, you know, just give it all I got to myself because I owe myself that. I owe myself the journey of self-improvement. And this has definitely been helping me so much lately. Just kind of talking to a camera, reading, praying, working out, doing work at work, and just kind of just filling my days up, um, being extremely tired at the end of the night, even though I do need time for myself, I do need time to register this, but I've definitely made a miles of progress, a mountain of progress so far. So I'm definitely very happy with where I am right now. And I definitely am in an upwards trend to healing, but guys, just know that you're not alone, especially if you're going through heartbreak, you're definitely not alone. I definitely am here for you comment your journey down below i would love to hear other people's stories just so i could kind of relate myself um and we're not perfect man i'm still trying to figure it out myself i'm still trying to figure out everything out in my life but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video we're so close to a thousand subs man we're at 600 something please subscribe please comment please like and i'll see you guys in the next one peace